everyone so today i will be painting this gray bag this bag is actually from my sister and i really love to use this before and not until there is a big stain um as you can see this is very big and it's the reason that i'm not using this anymore but I really love that bag. It has a lot of compartments. It is comfortable to use. That's why I'm going to make over this bag. I'll be using the paint brushes, the sponge, the acrylic paints, and of course the jar of water. Hmm, but before starting, I added some papers inside the bag to protect it from um, more stains <laughs> okay so the colors that I decided to use here are black red white and blue and I'll be mixing colors as well later on but for the base I chose black because I want to paint a nebula or a space themed makeover um, for this bag so at first I want I just wanted to cover the um, the stain but later on you will also see that I made it much bigger so that the design or the painting will be more visible Alright, so after painting the base with black, I started mixing some colors. So at this time, I was only experimenting to achieve the color that I want. So I mixed the black and blue, and then red with black, and blue and with black, and then I also uh, did, uh, mixed the red one with the blue one to achieve this color. So it's something like a purple or periwinkle. I'm not sure what you call this, but um, at, uh, for this one, I was using the sponge um, to tap it in my bag so that I could achieve the nebula-like texture that I want. So I didn't really use some brush here. So yeah. It's a very long process because I was yeah, experimenting the whole time. I wanted to achieve the color that I want, but I ended up um, overdoing it. So it's not really good with that one because the texture or the paint itself will be thicker and it will be harder uh, for the bag. Okay, so I admit I got excited again. So as uh, if you watch my previous video, I said I said there that I tend to overdo things. That's what I want to um, fix, but I end up doing it again. But yeah, I actually added here some red, which I don't really like with my bag. So. I started to add some more paint I want to uh, because purple is my favorite color so that's what I want to be more visible in this bag so I started to um, repaint it again <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, I was adding white paint, so it will serve as a highlight for the nebula so that the painting will be more visible. After that, I added some white dots as well to serve as the stars for the nebula. I also decided to add more white paints using my old toothbrush and uh, sprinkle that white paints to the bag 
to provide better visuals for the stars. Okay, so we are almost done with the painting, but I think something is missing with the bag. So that's why I added some uh, border lines using my metallic silver pen to highlight the painting even better. This is how it looks after adding the pen in the bag. But I also added more paints as well to make it look like this. So for the last step, I was adding the acrylic gloss to protect the painting. So it looks like a glue. And I was very nervous at first because it's my first time as well to use this. So at this part, I was making sure that um, all of the parts of the painting were uh, covered by the acrylic gloss or the varnish. And then I just let it dry overnight. And after that, this is how it looks. Thank you.